Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the RevCam. Obviously, you don't know me yet, uh, but yeah, I'm originally from Tampa, Florida. From there, moved all over the world, and I lived in San Antonio, Texas last, where I kind of got into craft beer because I was going to uh, soccer games, USL soccer games, and they were giving away free beer, so Free Tail hooked it up, and so I kind of got into craft beer a little bit. Um, I've been drinking beer for, well, I'm 40 years old, so uh, yeah, do the math. Public math is not so good, but um, yeah, I kind of got into beer uh, when I lived in Belgium uh, for about two years, and so I was drinking all different types of beers and stuff like that, uh, so guess what we're going to do today? This is uh, the RevCam's Craft Beer Review number one, and guess what we're going to be talking about? We're going to be talking mm -hmm. about the Avery Brewing Company out of Boulder, Colorado, and they have this awesome barrel-aged, oak barrel-aged cucumber hibiscus sour. And so we're going to try this out. We're going to see how it is. Um, and then from there, hopefully, you know, I'll continue to keep on doing stuff. Again, as I said, I, I lived in San Antonio, Texas, and that's kind of like where the craft beer thing kind of got me stoked. Um, and so now I'm living in a different location. I don't live in San Antonio anymore. Uh, I live uh, outside of Fort Collins. Um, and so there's a lot of craft beer here. So I'm going to be doing all different types of things. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get it started. Let's uh, do the pour on this bad boy. All right, sorry, got my cl glass here, you know, just washed it up. So we're going to pour this. And of course, you want to make sure that you bend this here. All right, we want a good pour. I'm not going to pour it all in there. But this is a uh, small batch uh, brew from... Avery out of Boulder. Um, I, I'm a big sour fan. Call me crazy. I like IPAs. I like sours. Um, I like ales. I like browns. I like um, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll drink it. I like beer. Um, but we're going to kind of do this on a four prong uh, rating system. It's going to be based off of uh, the look, you know, kind of like what it looks like. Then from there, we're going to get into the smell and then the taste. And then, of course, uh, we'll talk about a little bit of the percentage or the buzz that goes along with this. So, first off, if you look at it, it looks real nice. Actually, it's a little bit foggy, but most sours or uh, saisons, they, you know, of course, they probably will be a little bit foggy. And I have no problem with that because the flavor is just unbelievable, usually, of the sours. So, I'm a big sour fan, as I said. Um, not much head on it, of course. Um, kind of cloudy. I do like the color. I like, uh, you, you know, the, the light pinkish tint. So let's go ahead and go in and for the smell. Real quick. All right. Yeah. It smells like a sour. Definitely smells like a sour. Let's see what it's all about when it comes to that taste now. So when it comes to sours, there's multiple different types that are out there. Um, you know, you got your American Wilds. From there, you go into your Berliner, Berliner Weissens. Uh, then you go into your Vlanders or your, or your Reds. Or actually, not only are there Reds, but there are also, also those Lambics that are out there. That's kind of like what I got turned on to sours. Um, I was trying all different types of beers in Belgium. And so the Lambic is kind of, you know, where I kind of get the... The start of, you know, hey, here's your introduction into sours. So uh, from there, you got, of course, your, uh, I don't know how to say it, either go, goss or goss or goss or it's pretty much uh, a German style. And then, of course, the Lambic, uh, which I'm more familiar with. Um, when it comes to these, um, you've got usually fruity or you go sour. And I would say right off the bat, when it comes to the taste, it is a sour. When it comes to the smell, it is a sour. You can definitely taste the cucumber coming through. Uh, the hibiscus, um, it's very interesting uh, addition to this actual sour. Um, I don't necessarily taste the hibiscus and being able to taste the hibiscus, you know, not a lot of people like are chewing on hibiscus. Uh, so I don't necessarily know if I taste that, but I do taste the cucumber. I've had a couple other cucumber sours by itself, and I've actually liked them as well. 
So we've looked at it, we've smelt it, we've tasted, and guess what? I've already had half of one of these earlier. Uh, so it's a 7%er, 7.0% uh, ABV, um, and it's it's great. I mean, uh, so far when it comes to the buzz, it's it's kind of light. Um, I like more like a 7 or a 6.5 or something like that. I'm not really into the, the lower grades unless I'm trying to, you know, clear my palate, if you will. And so um, let's go ahead and do this on a 1 to 10 rating scale. Let's go ahead with the look. I'm gonna say from the look that I got right here, um, and that actually for being a little bit foggy, it still is a little bit clear. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna go ahead and give that, uh, let's go ahead and give it a 7.4. So I'm gonna give it a 7.4 when it comes to the clarity and the look. When it comes to smell, again, I'm more on the sour side, not on the sweet side. So I'm probably gonna say, I'm gonna go with, uh, Hmm. Probably gonna go with like a seven five, I think. Um, so what do we got for the look? Seven four, seven point four for the smell, seven point five for the taste. I'm probably gonna go with a, a a nine on this. When it comes to the taste, this is what I want in an American wild. I want something that is going to be sour, not fruity, um, me personally. So um, I'm going to give it a nine on the taste. And when it comes to the buzz, I'm going to go ahead and give it a uh, nine as well. So I wonder, can we do the math here? So nine and nine, yeah, public math is not good. So it looks like a nine and a nine and a 7.4 and a 7.5. It looks like we're probably going to give this thing uh, probably about an 8 overall. I know it's not a very uh, precise system. Um, I'm going to try to make this a little bit better um, for the future to try to get you guys uh, more into what I'm trying to put out here. And uh, yeah, so again, 8 overall when it comes to our... First RevCams craft beer review of the Barrel Aged Cucumber Hibiscus Sour. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.